Do you know why the bottoms of boats are red? It's for a very simple reason, but it's an important reason. The worst thing is that if you don't take care of this paint, it will cost a lot of money. To answer this question, we need to do a little bit of history. In the old days, pirates used copper plates on the ship's hulls to preserve them. I'm saying pirates, but really, this practice dates back to the English Navy in the 1700s. We could even go as far back as the Romans, who used to put lead plates on the hulls of their ships. But this isn't a history lesson, so I'll stop here. The interesting thing is that the primary function of these coatings is to protect the holes of the boats. If you don't, you'll quickly find wood-eating worms making holes in your boat. That's not all. The copper or lead plates helped limit the growth of living organisms on the ship's hull. This phenomena is called fouling. It's when unwanted material accumulates on a solid surface. For example, algae or barnacles. The reason why they accumulate is because as soon as a boat is put in water, a layer of microbes is formed. This layer of bioorganisms will be food for bigger organisms. It will attract a lot of them, and it will get busier and stronger. At some point, the hull will be totally covered, and it will slow the boat. It's a bit like putting your sofa on top of your car. The aerodynamics are no longer ideal. But that's not all. Because in order to cool the engines of a very large ship, big pumps have to get water from the sea through pipes, which are also subject to this phenomena. As time goes by, organisms will gather inside the pipe, which will reduce the pipe suction. As a result, the engine will not be cooled properly, and the boat's speed will be restricted. All of this can be very expensive. In fact, a 2011 study specifically examined the economic impact on U.S. Navy ships, especially on this type of ship, a destroyer. The maintenance and repair associated with the impact of marine organisms are estimated to be around $800,000 per ship per year. The Navy has 70 of them, so it's costing them $56 million each year. That's not a cheap car wash. But what about the color? The legend and the internet say that the red color was kept by custom, since in the days of our pirate friends, the copper plates oxidized in the water and became red. But it's more likely because this type of paint, called anti-fouling paints, first used copper oxide, which happens to be red. Today, this type of coating can be any color. The fact that a cargo ship is painted with two colors can also help estimate its load. With more cargo, the ship will be heavier, so it'll rest lower. And because of the height contrast with the sea, it's also easier to spot if the ship capsizes. The important thing to remember is that the submerged parts of a ship are not easy to clean. Unlike your car, you can hardly go to the car wash when you need to. So it's important to do as much as possible to avoid the accumulation of bioorganisms if you don't want to lose time and money. Now that you know why the bottom of boats are painted red, I have created other videos that answer some existential questions like, do fish drink water? Or why cats spend all their time in boxes? 